this is pretty exciting. I think it's actually technically yesterday was uh, when we launched uh, SOD2. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we did Juggernaut, but five years. And it's actually 10 years of the franchise. It's been 10 years since the first Save Decay game launched um, back in 2013. So we have uh, a fun day for you. We were hearing from the devs today. We're hearing from uh, different disciplines, uh, hearing about their experiences, hearing about, uh, you know, the game that uh, all these devs have been making to craft a, you know, a really fun experience. And also, this is our first event in Discord. This is the first time that we're doing something like this. So a uh, big thank you to all the volunteers who are helping make this happen. Um, if we do have any technical difficulties, we will say so and take a pause, but bear with us uh, while we figure it out. We have um, Megan and Rohan uh, moderating as well as our amazing, uh, some of our amazing leaders. I know Max is going to be around, Coconut's going to be around for a bit. Thank you, thank you all so much. much. Uh, so super helpful. And uh, we also have Darren, who is in the office and helping us keep going uh, on the tech side of things. Although I am from home right now and I cannot figure out why <laughs> it says my camera is on. So let's try this again. Okay, settings for the win. <laughs> hey, everyone. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um... There's someone, someone that, that you, you probably, probably haven't seen or heard from before, and that's a very exciting kickoff. I'm so pleased to introduce you all to our studio head, Philip Holt. Philip, welcome. Welcome to the Save Decay Discord. Uh, this is really cool. Um, so Philip is our studio head, and we just have a couple questions and chit-chat for him and want to hear a little bit about it. Um, let me refer to my notes here so we can get going. Okay. okay. Oh, Goonie, we are going to try to record this. Yes, uh, and, qu and a quick update for Wonders a Robot, Marcus. That's rude. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Megan, you did lie. Just, just so we know, we are recording this, I believe, uh, making sure that we can. Um, we can. I can maybe check in with Darren before we get fully going, but... Um, our goal was to be able to then release this later on our YouTube channel because these will be some pretty fun sessions. Uh, as if you've looked at the uh, schedule, uh, we've got all kinds of fun things coming up today. Okay. Well, without further ado, I'm going to check one thing to just make sure I'm good with Darren. Okay. Okay. All good. All right, and we are recording now. Okay, so we're gonna take it away. Hey, it's working, we're doing it. <laughs> Thank you everyone. So I have an opening question for Philip. Uh, tell us a little bit about how the lab has grown and changed uh, with you as studio head. Yeah, well, first, let me just say, it's a super honor to be here. And I'm <laughs> going to say a little intimidated uh, to speak in front of the community. I mean, I speak in front of the studio all the time, and uh, I'm never very nervous about that. But uh, I can feel my heart rate um, ticking along a little bit here. So just, uh, it's a, I, I just, happy birthday, five years to stay here today. Thank you for making that happen. Uh, we wouldn't be here without um, all of you in the community. So it's just, it's really an honor to be here in front of you and, and just share a few thoughts I have about the four years that I've been here. So I joined in February of 2019, um, soon after the acquisition by Microsoft, and uh, State of Decay was doing really well on Game Pass. In fact, we were in the top 10 on Game Pass, um, which was a remarkable performance for us. And Heartland was in development, uh, and there was nothing planned beyond Heartland for State of Decay 2. That was it, their development was gonna end with Heartland's release. And which is hard to imagine today, looking back <laughs> at how far the game I, has come since then. I, it's crazy. I remember this too. There was like a lot of questions, like, w were we going to do Heartland at all? And uh, and it was just that was a time where so much was in transition, and I think that must have been difficult to jump into too, because there's like so many possible pathways forward, and then trying to figure out what's what's right, what's the right thing for the studio right now. Exactly. You know, State of Decay 3 existed as a, I don't know, a couple of paragraphs in a Word document with a couple of people that had <laughs> limited access to it. So there really was, it was just, that was it. That was the studio. 
Uh, soon after, Matt Booty showed up. Matt's my boss. He runs all of XGS. And uh, I asked him, like, what are the measures of success for us? What is, what is important to you? Mm-hmm. And uh, talked about a couple things and really about elevating the quality of State of Decay as a franchise. He talked about the belief that Microsoft has in the franchise's potential and really their interest in buying our company um, and supporting all things State of Decay. Um, and so based on that, we started to build a little bit of a strategy around how are we going to accomplish State of Decay? Like how do we continue to keep State of Decay 2 active and growing and healthy and improving? And how do we begin work you know, in earnest on State of Decay 3? So we made a commitment to support State of Decay 2 for the long term. And that began really two, I would say, primary goals. One is uh, let's use the opportunity to become skillful as an operator of a service-oriented game. Um, in working in concert with an audience to understand how the audience is experiencing the game and and having you be a participant and guiding what our roadmap looks like. That was number one. Number two was um, changing the narrative around the quality that's represented in the game. And, you know, we Metacritic, I think, at a 66 when we released in 2018. I think if the game were reviewed today, well, in fact, it is reviewed actively on Steam, and uh, I think our latest reviews are very favorable. You know, that's a that's a it's a steep climb. Uh, it's a steep yeah. hill to climb um, to it was generate an uphill that kind of battle. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm just so pleased to be where we are today, and how much we have learned in the process, and how all of that's going to be tied into the future of the studio for us. Um, I would say soon after, sort of like getting that kind of kicked off, you know, 2020 rolls around in the pandemic, and that was kind of a game changer for us as a development organization. Uh, and, uh, you know, the founder left and, you know, we went through a ton of change and growth. We were 65 people when I joined, I think we're about 125 today, something like that. Uh, we're, we have offices huge now amount of growth. across the country. We've got a team in Champaign, Illinois. We've got a team in Orlando, Florida. Um, so much talent. We've got a number of employees in other states. I think we operate in something like seven states now. Um, and so we're, a we're a coastal company. Across three times. Coastal. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I would have had never been able to predict this uh, when I joined. We've grown so much and let's say improved so much uh, since, I mean, both as a company, I think, with our culture and our values moving forward and the amazing people that we, you know, get to work with. But also, I mean, we just launched, was it last week? It's our 33rd update of this game and still going and and just constantly, you know, to your point of what you're saying earlier, like the roadmap of how do we make this better for everyone? You know, we're always looking at that wish list and saying, okay, how do we keep trying to take this experience to the next level to just make it more immersive, more fun? Um, so yeah, so much growth uh, in a short amount of time too. <laughs> and yeah, through the pandemic, crazy. which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sat in the office today, so, um, you know, our Seattle studio, we expanded um, through the pandemic and we were able to build a little bit with an idea of what is the, how does the office service kind of in a new hybrid work environment? That's been a, a, you know, a really uh, challenging set of um, um, issues to resolve as a company. How do we work across across the country um, and how do we work locally? Right. Edward work. I mean, so I'm from home right now. Uh, you can see Phillips in the office and we'll have other people kind of doing a mix of, of both. And one of the things that Philip also brought uh, to the studio is our, we get together, uh, you know, a couple times a year as a studio, which is super fun. One of the, I've never been in a company that uh, does this and just really love um, uh, getting to, you know, you see your colleagues here, but getting to, you know, have that time in person. So well, uh, thank you, Philip. Um, we are going to get into some trivia. Any last thoughts that we want to share with uh, with the audience before we kind of we're going to wrap up? I'm going to explain how trivia works, and then we're going to just kind of move into the next segment. If I could, I would just love to share kind of my favorite moment playing State of the Country. Yeah. And uh, I think many of you know Joe quite well. And, you know, we... Uh, spent some time together playing the game. And um, I was just, I was really interested in, in seeing the game through his eyes uh, as I sort of learned more and more about this franchise. And and so we set aside Fridays for, I don't know, a couple of months and just played together. And we loaded into Drucker County and uh, he was like showing me his favorite base um, and like the strip mall base. And so we're 
I'm setting up my shop there and he's, uh, it's dark and stuff. And he's like, Hey dude, come here, let's go up this ladder. So we climb to the top of the base and we sort of, I look out at this just darkness and he goes, just wait a minute. The sun is about ready to rise. And we literally sat in the game and watched the sunrise over Drucker County. It was just, it was, it was lovely. It was a beautiful moment. So cool. I love that. <laughs> it's amazing. We got a doll from Vicky. That's really cool just thinking about all the lighting changes that got done too in those maps and it just yeah beautiful well for me i think the reason that that resonates is it's you know it was playing with a colleague playing with a friend and mm -hmm. you know it was just a, a beautiful moment of of quiet and, and silence and reflection in the craziness of the zombie pandemic and i think mm -hmm. for, from from my vantage point is a is is a person responsible for this group of people in the studio, I think it just represents the heart that's in this game, that there's, mm -hmm. this is why we struggle through the zombie apocalypse is for those kind of quiet moments. Yeah, absolutely. Those moments of celebrating together. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone. Uh, say thank you to Philip for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, Thanks all. So now I'm going to let you, so we are doing some trivia. We're going to do a trivia, a little trivia question after every segment. Um, so what we have is, I don't have, I don't have a physical copy with me, but we have these physical zines and uh, I'll show you what they look like on the digital version. You guys can see the digital version. We'll, we'll also be sending this out um, shortly, but this is to, I just dropped it in the chat and it's to celebrate our anniversary. We have a dev created uh, zine. It's 16 pages long, has pictures and stories. It's really great. Um, you can follow it and see it, but we're going to send out some physical copies uh, to winners. So how it's going to work so, uh, is we're going to ask a trivia question, drop your answers into chat, and then Megan and Rohan are going to grab the first like 10-ish correct answers, and then we'll randomly, we'll put it into a random generator and pick a winner. Zine pick didn't come through, but you can click the link. I don't think it supports Canva. A lot of places don't. All right. So this was touched on in what Philip talked about, and you'll kind of see this as a theme. We'll kind of talk, we'll, we'll have trivia that kind of, you know, oh, this is my doggy and she wants to get down. Okay. Everyone say goodbye to Rocket. Bye, Rocket. Um, all right. What, where are the two new Undead Labs satellite offices, the two new offices. Um, our, our headquarters, our main headquarters is in Pioneer Square. There's two others he mentioned. Oh, I give it about a minute. I'm playing the music right now. It's pretty great. Okay, and while that's going, so Megan and Rohan are going to pick a winner, and then they will let us know. They'll announce in the chat, and then they will reach out to you directly. So watch your DMs so that we can mail that out to you.